of a stretch for that and was going to turn over possession, but still managed to retain it and uh, win a corner for his team. Morrison and Manga go forward from the back. Rawls will take the corner near side. Cardiff right will be a left-footed in-swinger from the young midfielder. High across goal. Headed down by Morrison. It's 1-0. Well, if you keep giving Sean Morrison opportunities from set pieces inside the six-yard box, sooner or later he's going to bury one, and that's exactly what's happened. The fourth time of asking, this time gets his connection right, downward header, and it's home. It's Cardiff City 1, Nottingham Forest 0. And that corner, when it came in, actually, was always going to be met by Morrison. I saw it from the moment it left, uh, it left the foot of Joe Rolls. I had a similar moment away at Nottingham Forest last season when the moment the in-swinging corner left Junior Hoylett's boot, I knew that Aaron Gunnison was going to meet it and going to power the header home. And exactly the same happened there. I was up and celebrating as that left the foot of Joe Rolls. Morrison's fifth goal of the season. Well, he could have had double that amount if, uh, if he'd had any luck this season. Oh, that's Wide to Osborne, good ball forward to Brereton on the halfway line. He plays that forward. Bamba on the chase, cross coming in. There could be an equaliser here. It is an equaliser, and it's Bredcutt who's got it. Well, Cardiff opened up in that right-back channel. Osborne getting forward well from left-back. Just spins in behind. Sol Bamba can't get over there in time and Joe Rawls is on his heels and is beaten to the ball inside the area by Liam Bridcutt who tucks the ball home four and a half minutes into the second half and Cardiff are pulled back well the fortunes can change because two minutes ago Zohor looked certain to score and his shot came back off the post and now Forrest have equalised Liam Bridcutt With his first goal for... I think the legs got tangled up just outside. And it's on the Cardiff left. So Hoylett shaping to take it. Rolls is there as well. Morrison's gone forward from the back. So too has Bamba. And who will take this one? We're right behind the line of the shot. If it is going to be a shot, it looks as if it's going to be Hoylett. 16 minutes to go. One apiece. It is Hoylett chipping it high towards the far post. Noddy down in front of goal and Gunnison has scored. It's 2 1. Oh, what a finish from Aaron Gunnison. Readjusts in the air, is able to swivel onto the ball and smash it home on the volley. Low and hard beyond the keeper. The moment that left the boot of Hoylett, it looks like there was too much on it. Sol Bamba does ever so well at the back stick. Able to rise, get something on it and nod it back into the danger area. It takes one bounce and then a flying Aaron Gunnison comes from nowhere to make a connection and strike the ball home. For the second year running, Aaron Gunnison has scored against Forrest at home. And it couldn't have hit that harder. Unstoppable it from that distance. It into the corner of the net. And Aaron Gunnison, who had been criticised by supporters since he'd come back into the side for not being up to pace, has, over the last few games, really grown think, into it. No, I think he's been pretty flawless since he's come back in. I think the problem has been the times that he and Gruwich haven't played together, didn't know how to play together, so we're, we're largely operating in the same lo role and a lot of the time adopting the same space. I think, uh, you know, individual performance-wise, I think he's been superb. Fox plays a long...